Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Checkpoint XP on campus. If you're wondering why the background looks a little different, it's because it is. We can do this show wherever we so choose. And on top of that, it's COVID. So, you know, we've been doing a lot from the crib. I'm Norris Howard, your host, joining alongside Jacob Brothers out in Las Vegas. And we have a special, special guest joining us today. He's Sean Smith. He is the chief product officer of GYO. Now, if you are unfamiliar with GYO, uh, they are part of, of the team putting on the eSports Combine, where high school uh, students from across North America are going to get the chance to show their stuff to college programs uh, in North America and get a chance to get on some of these teams that we talk so much about. So, Sean, thank you so much for joining us today. Excited to be here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so the first thing I want to ask is, you know, for those who may have missed last week's episode or may not have a lot of background, what exactly is the eSports Combine? So, um, a little bit of background about uh, Gyo. Um, we've actually been uh, an eSports platform that started about two years ago um, trying to help players go pro in eSports. And we did that using data analytics. And the first time we did an event to try to recruit people, um, we didn't get anybody to go pro, um, but we did have 100 players get scholarship offers. And that kind of opened our eyes and we said, whoa, this is kind of cool. Um, so we really began exploring it, began working with groups like NACE, National Association of Collegiate Esports, and began doing more of these virtual events, which morphed into this idea of a combine, which is similar to, you know, if you've heard of the NFL combine, this idea of something that is not a tournament, not a league, and not a ladder, but something that's more evaluation based. And so for the last couple of years, we've been doing those. Um, and this specific combine is kind of the culmination of those efforts. And had it not been for COVID, this would actually be a physical event in the Indiana Convention Center, but we've had to shift to virtual because, well, 2020 did what 2020 does. <laughs> yeah, and, and one thing that I'm, I'm really, really excited about is what you mentioned is the fact that you know the NFL and in the NBA and other professional sports have combines usually for kids moving from college to the pros but these sports usually have combines where people are able to come together in one place and really see who you know who some of the best players are you know they have a, a, a litany of, of trials and tests and in other things uh, where maybe some of the players kind of stuck in the muck can raise their stock, if you will, uh, by performing well at the combine. And so, knowing that a lot of high school kids are going to be looking at, you know, college scholarships for esports as a possibility in the near future, um, what sort of events and trials and stuff uh, can we expect at the esports combine? So, this would be a much cooler answer if we were in person. <laughs> We, we really, I mean, we had it lined up. We had, you know, rows of com computers and there'd be individual testing. And, and I'm excited that that, thing, that kind of stuff is going to come as soon as, you know, COVID figures itself out. Um, so for specifically for this event, what we're going to be doing on the esports side is admittedly a little bit scaled back from our grand vision. And so what this combine will be is more than anything, it's about the networking with the college coaches. It's kind of like a college fair in that regard where we want you to be able to rapid fire meet with, um, we expect between 50 to 100 universities. We want you to rapid fire see all those esports programs. And then the combine portion itself is about you creating a, a profile around your gameplay, around your history. And then you're gonna compete in uh, a handful of curated matches. And what I mean by that is um, if we go and we download all of your League of Legends history, for example, that's going to include some games where you were really dialed in and focused and you were playing your favorite character and your favorite lane. But it's also going to include a lot of garbage games that maybe you were trying a new character, you were messing around, you were drunk with buddies, whatever the case may be. <laughs> you're you're going to be, uh, that's not going to be your best games. And with all that data all completely mixed together, it's impossible to tell the difference. So what we're doing is we're creating this combine model where you turn on your video and you're recording your game tape. And whatever happens, happens during that match. Um, right. But you're on. 
like the spotlight's on you. Show us what you got. And that's the video that gets submitted to the scouts. Yeah, I, I've been dying to ask you about the profile because, like, when we were researching this, it was like there's this like really in depth profile, and I was like, what on earth, is, earth is this? You know, because I just not not to brag, best gamer in Vegas, I just placed a gold in Valorant. So like, if I had this like Valorant profile, like it has the good games and the bad games, what exactly is it showing? Is it showing out uh, your efficiency, your like crosshair? Like I I don't like what it what's what's it tracking in that profile? Um, that that depends a lot on which game. The game you yeah. Valorant, uh, we don't have the API quite implemented mm. yet, but League of Legends, we have a full API integrated with Riot. So we actually break it down so that we give you um, geo statistics and metrics around your aggression, your defense, your farming capabilities. Um, so we have a lot of different levels of breakdown of your game itself. But for games that we don't necessarily have implemented yet, it's more about just making sure that you're putting forward quality game tape that scouts can can look at um because most scouts whenever we talk to them stats are cool but they want to see you under pressure right see how you're using your mic how you're doing on the comms so that's the kind of stuff that we want to help players understand that that's what the scouts are looking for set them up for success by getting them into matches where they can do those things and then make sure that that's the you know front page video that they have um, for whenever the scouts come and check out the profile. Yeah, Norris and I have talked about, sorry Norris, one thing that we've talked about on the show is like the pipeline of how we want there to be like a pipeline in collegiate esports. So do you think having like the profile with the tape with all that for each individual player, do you think that would be the next like evolutionary step in the pipeline process? Because that seems like a really big thing to introduce to that system. Yeah, absolutely. I think that this all goes into the, that concept of the pipeline. Um, we, uh, um, you know, we fully believe that all of esports, collegiate and the pros, needs a defined pipeline. It's it's currently chaos. It's getting a little bit better on the pro scenes, but it's definitely chaos. And part of that is is us trying to just bring some structure, some model where right now nothing exists at all. We know that what we're going to do this weekend and what we've done in the past, not perfect, but it's a starting point. And the more we can get coaches and scouts and recruiters all looking at it, the more we can collect feedback and the more we can improve it. And, you know, speaking on that and speaking of the coaches and, and the scouts, you know, one thing that I'm very curious about is, you know, what sort of feedback and what sort of relationship will you guys help facilitate between the players and the scout? Because one of the hardest things to do, as you alluded to, is for those scouts and coaches to sift through, you know, hundreds of thousands of players and replays and game tape in order to sort of cut through the muck and see what type of player it is that they really want. Um, you know, how is that conversation go when you guys are talking to a scout to say hey here's this idea we have for our combine and what has you guys' reception been uh for this uh they're extremely excited um we already have several universities that actively use um our uh platform to do their recruitment for example um there's a, a midwestern college that has a pretty decent esports program that they have 18 scholarship students right now uh eight of them were found through our process and so what we're finding is, and this is important for players to know, right now it's kind of a player's market. Um, there's so much, uh, so many esports programs out there and coaches are struggling so much to find players that we don't need the golds to be the only ones getting scholarships. You know, last year we had silvers and, uh, and bronzes and League of Legends get scholarships. And that's because they're looking for players who um, are, are obviously interested in attending the school, but they're also looking for players who are coachable. So I actually think that in the current college climate, uh, you're more likely to get a scholarship as like a platinum level player with a good attitude mm -hmm. that's coming in. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I mean, at, at Grandmaster and Challenger and stuff like that, I mean, you're getting scouted by pro teams at that point. Um, but you know, looking towards the future, um, you know, is this an event that you would like to take to say the LCS or, you know, other, you know, Overwatch League, other professional uh, leagues that are based here in North America, where you could say, 
college scouts and cloud nine team liquid everybody's here uh because we know that esports skews young so a lot of these players may be good enough to be pulled out of these pools and into some pro teams it, it, it with you guys is uh with you guys looking forward to the future do you think once we get back to in person that that may be a possibility um, absolutely. At the very least, it can begin to build the framework for that. Um, uh, are, are the algorithms that we've worked on good enough to genuinely help kids go pro? It's not. That's not really the way they're set up, right? And really, the pro scouting scene right now isn't set up that way either. Um, you know, this this might be a little bit controversial statement, but um, the best players in the world aren't necessarily the pros right now. Mm -hmm. The players that are the best networked combined with very, very, very good are the pro players. And so there really isn't true scouting data that says, okay, literally if I put these two head to head, this one's going to be better than this one. That, that just doesn't exist yet. One day it might. Um, but that's kind of what we hope at the very least. If we aren't the solution that helps the pros, you know, we're okay with that. We'll, we'll be happy. Uh, helping players go semi-pro or collegiate. Um, but before players think about the pros, they really need to think about that first step. And that's a common mistake that I see, is so many people come to the site and, and literally I'll get a support chat and it says, uh, hey, can you introduce me to Team Liquid? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start with a semi-pro team first, you know? <laughs> right. So, you know, again, it goes back to what you said. It's gotta be about a pipeline. There has to mm. be a progression and right now there isn't it makes them better yeah yeah uh, Sean Smith, thank you so much from Gyo. Thank you for correcting my pronunciation on that from Gyo. Uh, you know, the Esports Combine is going to be going down this weekend, so make sure you guys check it out. You're going to be able to watch it on the Super League Gaming Twitch uh, channel where you'll be able to check out some of the top high schoolers in various esports to see, you know, what may be the future of some of these collegiate programs and who knows, maybe even the pros. So um, thank you so much for joining us and uh, we hope that event goes super well this weekend. Yeah, really appreciate the time and uh, really excited about it. So thank you very much.